build a ring around the 169 Highway 10 and then maybe 95 corridor. And we did do an RFQ and a feasibility study to say what it would cost and the probability. We met with some respondents for the RFQ and they all said the same results. A lot of this fiber infrastructure is already there, it's just not being utilized. So we'll lay it for you, but you're duplicating what's already there. And if we put it in the ground, you know these providers are going to step up their game and, and they're probably going to lose some money. And that's not something we like to go to the board with. Is, uh, and here's this great project, we're going to lose a lot of money. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we refocus on doing little segments of need. And that's what we're partnering with Palma Wireless. Wireless on the three projects. We were partnering with another provider in Princeton when we found out that a system provider had already stepped up their game. And then we're also partnering with a um, charter in, in Big Lake on some projects too. And they look to be doing some infrastructure improvements without public money as well right now. So I, I really think our mission of getting the word out there and educating people on the need has, has paid dividends. I mean, it's easy for us to say that because the, the results are right when we were doing our work. So. Hopefully that's why they were doing it. I hope it's not just a coincidence. But I, I really, really truly believe we're in a better place today than we were two years ago. Can I ask a question? Um, Laura, when you built that fiber ring in Becker, um, was that a result of, I mean, can you talk about that a little bit? Was that a direct result of our initiative um, as far as putting our land and broadband? Um, grant application together. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. If, honestly, I mean, if it wasn't for you coming forward and really stepping up for all of those businesses in the industrial park, you know, it would not have happened. I mean, and that's you know a huge part of you. You know, just you realizing what the economic impact was going to be if this didn't get done. So, no, we would have never, Albert and I would have never even known about it or known that it was an issue or even brought it up if, if it wasn't part of being a part of this group. So, I mean, like I said, I know there's other areas that need it too, but, you know, we're not a big company, so for us to be able to take all of those projects on just wasn't going to be, you know, feasible for us as a company um, because of our size. You also helped a trailer park or a, in Clear Lake Township, did you help a We did. We, park? we also had um, Travelers Country Club come to us. They are also um, part of, they're at the end of Frontiers and you know, the beginning of like windstream service and Frontier, they had gone back to them many times. They would not do anything for the residents just because it's a six month community resident type thing. Um, we did put some fiber into their park. We don't have all of the park finished yet. It's a fairly good sized, you know, area for us to cover. Um, didn't get a lot of commitment from the residents in the beginning, but it's hard trying to reach some of them. Now that they know who we are and, you know, what we've done, um, I think we just needed to get, gain their confidence because, you know, who are you and what do you have, you know, kind of thing. And so they have, we have other emails now, so hopefully then now this next season we'll be able to contact a lot of the residents and, and keep moving forward on the project. But you know, that was their big complaint, and I can see it. They're going to Arizona, they're going to Texas and Florida, and they're coming back. And their internet sucks. They don't have Wi-Fi coverage, they don't have cell phone coverage in their park. I mean, it, it is really poor. I mean, you for us, you know, if I tried to call my Albert to call it, I couldn't even get a hold of him. Sometimes just faster to drive over there and go tell him. <laughs> I need mean, something, you know, just, it, it is, you know, there, and I, you know, and doing, we have 32 sites and we're in a lot of communities around central Minnesota. That's just one area. There's so many areas. I, you know, as a provider, I wish we could do it all. It's, it just, there's so many spots like that, that you just don't realize how much of an impact it can be, you know, and they don't have, you know, TV, they don't have things, so they rely on the internet when they come up here sometimes to communicate back, you know, you know they watch TV and that kind of stuff too. So, yeah, it's 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 huge, you know, and again, same thing though, and we have five other parks coming and saying, can you guys do that, you know, what you did for us? But they were at the community vision meeting, correct? They, 